Interaction commands can be found on the main toolbar on the Interaction tab. Let's start by clicking New. This opens the Interaction Editor. There's a drop-down menu to choose the interaction type. There are three options, Node to Node Links, Node to Element Links, and General Links. Now let's model how to build Node to Node Links. Click New once again to open the Interaction Editor. We can click Edit Shader to open the Visual Material Editor. This allows us to change the appearance of the interaction. Click OK to finalize the interaction. Then, select the master geometry and right-click to confirm it, then the slave geometries and right-click to confirm them. This generates two master-slave links. Each node of the slave geometry is coupled with the closest node on the master geometry. Let's model node to element links. Another way to create an interaction is to right-click interactions on the work tree and click add. Let's select node to element links. You can also click to select and confirm the master and slave elements. This creates n m plus 1 nodes master slave links. Each node of the slave geometry is coupled with the m nodes of the closest master geometry node. Now let's model general links. Create a new interaction and select general links. Select and confirm the master and slave geometries. Just like before, once confirmed, the new links will appear. Let's set these interactions again to model meshing. First, let's create node-to-node -node links and apply it to the first set of geometries. Then, let's create node-to-element links and apply it to the second set. Last, let's create general links and apply it to the final set. Moving to the Mesh tab, click Global Edge Seed and Assign in Done. Then, click Edge Seed, select all geometries, change the division to 6, click Assign in Done. Now, we can set mesh controls, choose faces, then select all geometries, choose structured, quadrahedra, quadratic order, then set the colored mode to order, click assign and done. Click build mesh to mesh the geometries. Here we've built a portal with different physical properties to model the assignment of rectangular local axes. Let's view it from the front. By clicking Show Hide Local Axes, we can view the directions of the local axes. Let's assign a new rectangular local axes. Open the Property tab, click New Local Axes to open the editor, choose Rectangular, and click OK. Then click to sign the new directions of the local axes in the three directions. Then right-click it on the Worktree panel, click Assign, and select the two vertical sections and right-click to assign the axes. Notice how the axes have changed to reflect the new assignment. How to assign new cylindrical axes. Let's start by clicking Show Hide Axes to view the local axes. Click New Local Axes on the main toolbar, and then set the drop-down menu to Cylindrical. Then, just like before, you'll need to click three times to set the new direction of the axes. Another way to assign the axes is by dragging and dropping it from the work tree to the geometry. Now let's learn how to assign new spherical local axes. Follow the same steps as before. Click in three directions to set the direction of the new local axes. Once the directions have been set, Assign it to the geometry.